in today's video, let's have a look how we can balance the background colors with colors from the main subject in a photo. Ever wondered how to balance the color of a photo in a way that the subject and the background are in more harmony? Here's how to do it. Let me move the current adjustment to the bottom so we have a good starting position. First thing I will do is to make a duplicate of the original layer. Next, we need to separate the main subject. To do this, I'm going to use the selection brush while the duplicated layer is selected and quickly make a selection. Once I have my rough selection, I can refine it using the refine button. I'm quickly going to improve the selection. With the matte brush, I can clean up the small areas and for the areas I totally missed, I can use the foreground brush. Once our selection looks good, let's apply this selection as a new layer with mask. Perfect. We now have separated our subject. The last action disabled the layer we started from. But I'm going to need it, so let's enable it. Time to start balancing the colors and I'm only going to use two adjustments. The first adjustment will be a gradient map. In the gradient map, I will choose the colors from our subject. I will first select the darkest color and then select the lightest color from the main subject. The green in the middle is our midtone, so let's select a midtone. I'm going to need two more points in the gradient. First, a dark midtone and then a light midtone. Nice. I'm missing the greenish color from the pants. So let me change the midtone, which will be closer to the greenish color in the pants. Awesome! As you see, our background now has similar colors as the main subject. Before adding the second adjustment, I'm going to move the gradient map as a clipped child. This way, the gradient map is clipped and applied only to the parent layer. The next adjustment is an invert adjustment. Let's also make sure this is clipped to the same layer as the gradient map. Well, this looks a bit strange, but wait until we make some blend changes. First, I'm going to change the blend mode of the invert adjustment to color burn. Then, open up the blend settings and adjust the blend range so that it is not applied to the shadows. That looks a bit better. To finish up, I select the parent layer and change the blend mode to soft light. Also, have a look at that. A quick before and after. And as you notice, the composition is much more in balance. This method will probably increase the contrast. Optionally, we can fix that. Here is an interesting method for you. I'm going to add a curves adjustment on top of the background. With a curves adjustment, I'm going to brighten things up considerably. This will not fix the contrast issue yet. The trick is to change the blend ranges of the curves adjustment to a roof, lower the fill opacity to about 50% and then change the blend mode of it to contrast negate. With the opacity we can fine tune it to our liking, but usually a value around 60% works fine. Now you might think, this didn't help that much, but here is a curves layer disabled, and here it is enabled. Notice how the contrast is lowered, and we get details back in the shadows and the highlights. Pretty amazing. Let me disable the top layer with our subject only. Notice how the original subject looks much better with the new background. If the difference feels a bit unnatural or is too big, you can adjust the opacity of the masked subject to make it blend better. I hope you like this technique. Let's quickly check the before and the after. Here is another example where I applied the same steps. Let me enable the changes. It creates a much more interesting shot. Here is the final example. Let's enable the adjustments and see the result. Hope you like it. Thank you again for watching and see you again in the next video.